evidence file used to convict paedophile Peter Wrighton, if it still exists, contains clear, clear intelligence of a widespread paedophile ring. One of its members boasts of his links to a senior aide of a former Prime Minister, who says he could smuggle indecent images of children from abroad. The leads were not followed up, but if the files still exist, I want to ensure that the Metropolitan Police secure the ex evidence, re-examine it, and investigate clear intelligence suggesting a powerful paedophile network linked to Parliament and Number 10. Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. In recent months, Up Death Eaters has shown the number of stories all over the world involving institutional pedocytism, child rape, torture, abduction and even murder, including extensive child trafficking networks, have been covered up by those who are meant to protect. They have failed the position we gave them. They have abused the privilege and power we allowed them and used it against our children. We will fight for those you have silenced. We demand independent inquiries and ended by the corrupt, with full power to investigate. We demand an end to secrecy. The deaths of Leon Britton, Cyril Smith and Jimmy Savile in the UK allowed them to escape persecution, leaving their victims with no justice and the investigations with lost opportunities. They escaped accountability for their actions. Others will not be so lucky. David Cameron. You recently attended the We Protect Children Online Global Summit. You mentioned working with GCHQ and other international bodies to tackle child abuse online. Who are you really trying to protect? If only you were as passionate or willing to listen to the countless allegations of child abuse and cover-ups within your government. However as you have gone so far as to call child abuse victims conspiracy theorists, we question your real motives. These are not just crimes of child rape. This is torture and murder. These are not child lovers. They are death eaters. They feed off the pain and suffering of innocent children whose lives they destroy or end to feed their unsparing sadism. The death eaters in the UK have their counterparts in every other country and international organization. From Demink in Holland to Epstein in the US. From the UN in Somalia to the Myanmar military in Kashin. From the ritual killings in Gabon to the disappearances in Mexico, Death Eaters worldwide have been preying on our children. On February 13, 2015, we will call on all adults with a shred of dignity and moral outrage to join us as we take to the streets. We are the media. We will be silenced no more. We call for justice. And we will bring justice. Operation Death Eaters is fully engaged. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Death Eaters of the Establishment, you should have expected us.